Hello everyone, x Wall Kill Bethelite and Serenity here. Let me move the camera over a little bit more to get more Serenity in the picture. And also Lily jumping <laughs> and playing. But it's a little bit, uh, this isn't new news per se. But I wanted to uh, talk a little bit about the Mikey Starrott case, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. This is a situation that I did a video about. A lot of people did videos about years ago. I think it was like six years ago or something like that, where people were doing videos. And basically what happened is there was a string of fires in Washington. I think it was Olympia, Washington. And there were Keenum Halls that were being burnt down. Uh, somebody was shooting inside of Keenum Halls when no one was there. And there were a million different opinions when this was going on. I don't know if Serenity was in the whole mix of all that talk when all that was going on. But people were thinking that maybe Watchtower, uh, or some people don't know what I mean when I say Watchtower, Jehovah's Witnesses. But you got to understand, it's a cult that's run by Watchtower. So I just call it by the company name sometimes, Watchtower. Um were burning down their own kingdom halls to collect the insurance money. I don't know if you remember that, talking about that part. Yeah. But people were thinking maybe Watchtower was burning down kingdom halls to collect insurance money. Uh, they didn't know what was going on because there were so many kingdom halls all over Washington burning. And I'm talking burnt to the ground, burnt to a crisp. I remember seeing just rubble and smoke coming up from the rubble. But apparently uh, there was a arsonist or essentially, I don't want to call him an arsonist, uh, even though that may have been the act. But sometimes a person uh, can be in a state of mind where they can do something that doesn't necessarily define who they are. And hopefully that's the case with this. But I wanted to bring it up because as wrong as arson is, we have been talking about the shunning and the disfellowshipping and the harmful effects uh, that has been done to people for years. We've been talking about this for years. And when you finally see people start to lash out, because I don't think he was just burning down churches. He was specifically targeting, from my understanding, kingdom halls. So he was specifically targeting Jehovah's Witnesses. And we have to just be honest that you, you know what I mean? <laughs> You're not going to be able to hoard together millions of people, some of them not mentally stable. And the leaders of Watchtower oftentimes are people who have no theological training, like no college, no, they're not qualified to be uh, counseling people, whether it be emotionally, whether it be they've, they've gone through some sort of an emotional abuse and Jehovah's Witnesses don't really want them to go outside of their religion for help. They want them to talk to elders uh, elders, you know, this title that they give people who oftentimes, again, have no education, uh, no seminary training, no training in regards to 
uh, people's psychology, no anything. And when something like this happens, there's this 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 shock and surprise in the in the general community, but not amongst Jehovah's I mean not amongst former Jehovah's Witnesses. None of us was shocked. None of us was shocked. All of uh, a lot of us have been doing videos warning people for years about things like this that could occur. And I wanted to talk a little bit about it because he got an 11 year sentence. And also, from my understanding, was ordered to pay restitution. Now, this restitution is, if I didn't hear, if I heard it correctly, $700,000, darn near a million dollars, right? That they're wanting. A, a, a guy that's about to be locked up for 11 years to pay. I don't, I mean, I'm guessing courts are allowed to ask people to do things that they just, I don't know that this guy's just that rich. If he's just that rich, that's one thing. But I don't know that courts are just allowed to ask people to do stuff they've no ability to do. Uh, because if the courts are allowed to ask people to do stuff that they can't do, that would probably be the reason why so many people complain about parole and how their parole winds them back up in prison because they can't do this and can't do that. And that's, that's a whole nother story. But I was looking for something more so around uh, five to six years. And the reason I was looking for something more so around five to six years is uh, because of the conditions, the conditions. You have to look at the conditions around something like this when, when something like this would happen. And you would think that people would be judged based off the situation as a whole. So if psychological torment is used by a religion, a cult, literal psychological torment, if, if a person was put in solitary confinement for years and years and years and years and couldn't talk to their family or anything like that, over after so much time, people would not be surprised that there was a psychological effect. So I'm thinking things like that should be considered, but from listening to the news, uh, it, it sounded like the, the maybe the judge wasn't aware of this fellowshipping. Maybe the judge wasn't aware of uh, shunning uh, and the damage that that can do. Maybe the judge wasn't aware of all the end of the world predictions and the state of mind that that can put someone in when they're <clears throat> always ready for people to just start dropping dead all around them because they are a part of a cult that's teaching them doomsday cult. doomsday cult that's teaching them uh, the most extreme ideologies possible. And the problem with that is you, you're not surprised if you hear about somebody that was a part of ISIS uh, doing something destructive. Why is that? It has to do with the ideology, the extreme ideology that a group like that would teach. Because if a person's mental state is a state in which uh, 
they're thinking to an extreme degree. Like, for example, there's a big difference between a person who uh, lashes out at somebody in self-defense versus lashing out at somebody for a, a, a stupid reason. There's there's certain situations where a person's a person who may not normally harm anybody or anything, a person can be pushed to doing certain things. So when you're talking about a person's psychology, you're talking about uh, very delicate issues. Uh, you're talking about, you know, ISIS. ISIS is not legal in America. It's not legal. There's certain religions that should not be legal. And Jehovah's Witnesses is one of them. Jehovah's Witnesses, that cult should not be legal. Part of the reason I think that it is still legal is the cult trying to pretend in front of non-members that they're a normal religion. Somebody was talking about, I think somebody was doing a video and you told me about it because I didn't see it. Somebody did a video about Watchtower removing a video from uh, JW.org where it's showing a person's, what, mom? Not it, talking to now, him? It, this is the one with Sonia Erickson. And it literally goes from when she was a child getting baptized as a little girl and, and all the stress she was going through and whatnot. It was a horrible video <laughs> on JW.org, mm -hmm. the website. Basically, she got disfellowshipped because she got involved with a, a work, a workmate, co-worker. Yeah, yeah co-worker. And that was when she was calling her mom. And her mom looked at the phone and put it down and just ignored the call. So that video alone showing the process from a Jehovah's Witness as a child all the way up to an, a young adult getting in trouble and the treatment, it was blatant. The video showed how Jehovah's Witnesses were to treat even members of their own family if they were disfellowshipped or, you know, no longer one of them. Even if it's a family member. So, yeah. Right. It disappeared off the website. I wonder why. If they had the truth and this was according to the Bible and justified, they would have never had to remove it. Yeah. No, I agree. I agree. So that's that's the <laughs> issue is Jehovah's Witnesses pretend in front of uh, the, public. the public like they're a normal religion they don't tend to talk about the shunning and if they do talk about the shunning serenity can tell you a lot of times they try to make up an excuse for it they, they darn near make up something about you yeah they just totally lie and say yeah. oh the reason we're not talking to this person is because they're mentally unstable they're unwell they're crazy um whatever they're alcoholics i don't know different stuff they're on drugs so they will lie before they admit, yeah, we just don't talk to our child or my mom or my dad because they don't believe in my religion. Because that sounds insane to the average person. It really does. And they know that now. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the that's the issue is I don't think Jehovah's Witnesses would be legal if it wasn't for them hiding things. I remember calling Bethel. And I think I did a video. I can't remember if I was recording the video while I called Bethel or what, whatever the case may be. But I was on the phone with Bethel with them telling me, we do not shun. Like they blatantly lie. There's no reason for them to lie if all that shunning and disfellowshipping and the, and the such wasn't extreme. If it's not extreme, why lie about it? Why are you hiding it? Exactly. So this is the issue. And the issue is that Jehovah's Witnesses shouldn't exist. They're trying to hide, essentially telling people that they're allowed to have beards. You know, you can look like everybody else now. 
You know, you can kind of hide in plain sight. Now you're allowed to have beards. Matter of fact, women, you're allowed to wear pants now. Slacks. Slacks. Now you're now you're allowed Trousers. to kind of kind of look like your surroundings, blend into your surroundings, even though you are in an extreme cult. And what uh, I heard in that video is the defense. The man's lawyer, Mikey Starrod, if I'm saying his name correctly, his lawyer uh, was saying that he thought they had a case. He thought they had a case to take the trial. Most of the time, your lawyer is going to say, hey, you know what I mean? If, if you ain't got no case, he's going to tell you, let's take a plea. Let's take a deal. You know what I mean? Let's not go to trial. Let's take a, let's, let's take a deal. His, his lawyer was apparently telling him that, hey, we got a case here. Hey, we got a lot of different avenues that we could pursue. Uh, we may even try taking this to trial, but his lawyer is saying he decided, Mikey decided, I'm going to admit to burning down all these Keenum Halls. And that's another reason why I think I don't personally think he should have gotten 11 years plus you need to pay $700,000. Uh, and before I forget, there was a Jehovah's Witness that they interviewed that they had. Well, they didn't interview him. They had him on the news and he was saying we hold no what? grudge or malice or anything like that and it's just no resentment yeah. and it is the lies the lies i mean this dude for doing far far less they would not only hold resentment but his family wouldn't have spoke to him if he's got family that are jehovah's witnesses i doubt they'll they'll speak to him like at all. Now you talk about holding grudges, resentment, judgment, all those sorts of things. Jehovah's Witness has got to be amongst the worst. But he was on the news. He couldn't be himself. He had to pretend to be this, you know, we don't hold. We're but that's loving, the thing. We're peaceful, calm, peace loving individuals. And okay. That's the thing. Why not just tell the truth? If you're, if you're, not extreme. Why not just tell the truth? Oh yeah, we we to shun him for far less. We to shun him, and you know, for the rest of his life, if he so much as burned a watchtower, let alone a kingdom hall, it, you know what I mean? Just tell the truth about the whole situation, because you, when a person is is extreme, and I think a lot of Jehovah's Witnesses, without even realizing it, their thinking is extreme there's there's something that they they that people say when isis or someone like that contacts them they say they were extremized or something like that i might not be saying it correctly but contacts them? yeah if isis contacts them and the person starts to agree with that type of uh you mean recruitment yeah if isis recruits them okay. and the person starts to agree with their type of thinking, their extreme type of thinking. I can't think of the word, but they'll say that person was extremized. Or That's not a word. It's not a word at all, but I can't think of what the word is. The point being is once that happens, authorities, there's no one that is surprised if that person, their actions back up their thinking, if that person goes off and blows something up, if that person goes off and burns something, if that person goes somewhere and, and, and fires shots somewhere, they're not surprised because of the extreme teaching that's done in a group like ISIS, and that's why the whole group is not legal. The entire group is not legal. 
Well, with Jehovah's Witnesses, you have this legal extreme cult. And a person that would turn on their own flesh and blood. This is what I mean by extreme. We all know Jehovah's Witnesses would turn on their own flesh and blood. You got people who don't talk to their own, I'm talking direct, direct family members. If you are normally that extreme and a person who's that extreme who would, uh, let's say, forego college, forego uh, everything and go to Bethel, like a lot of the acts that Jehovah's Witnesses do it's, it's because of this extreme thinking. The end of the world is on the way. Like all this stuff. It's, there's so much extreme teaching that's going on. So when a person that is normally thinking that extreme finds out that Watchtower has been lying to him, and I'm not saying this, that's what happened in this case, but if a person finds out Watchtower is lying to them or a person finds out Watchtower has been tricking people or Watchtower has been taking this or that money. For them to burn down a kingdom hall, it's not as extreme. It may seem, seem normal to them. They've been taught their whole life. God is about to burn down freaking everything. And it is going to happen any day now. Fire and brimstone. brimstone. And God is going to destroy everything. Matter of fact, if your family doesn't agree, immediately, just don't even talk to them anymore. Just everything you do and think is as extreme as possible. So a person who then wakes up, especially if they don't know about, there's people who leave Watchtower or leave the cult of Jehovah's Witnesses and they don't know that there is an XJW community. They don't know that there's support. They don't know that. All they know is they've been taught total, complete lies, but they still have the extreme cult ideology where extreme thought, extreme action is normal to them. I don't know that this is the case. But is it possible that Mikey Stara, if that's how you pronounce his name, could have at some point in time believed in the Jehovah's Witness ideology or, you know, extreme teachings and then found out that some of these things were lies and then thought Jehovah might, maybe Jehovah wants you to go out and burn down Kingdom Halls. It wouldn't be that extreme to think that if Jehovah's Witnesses are teaching people, Jehovah wants them to stop talking to their own son or daughter. Jehovah doesn't want you to talk to your own mother anymore. But you, it's a mental thing. You have to understand what... So, but think about it. Think about it. Watchtower. Think about it. If, if a person just so much as does not agree with Watchtower... And the response is Jehovah no longer wants you to speak to your own mother, like the most extreme thing possible. Imagine that same person thinking Watchtower is misleading Jehovah's Witnesses. What do you think that person in their, in their mind would think Jehovah would want them to do? Nothing. This is the same per type of people that would shun their own mother maybe they might think well Jehovah wants me to do some sort of act against Watchtower the point being these extreme groups the shunning all that that, that sort of thing ah uh, I think that those sorts of things should be looked into. And I think that there should be more resources for people uh, trying to come out of that. 
because unfortunately what happens is religions in general are protected, but the victims of religion are just thrown out there. I mean, you know what I mean? If, if a person can find a therapist or something to that effect, then you can go that route. But a lot of times a person coming from an extreme cult is not thinking, oh, I need to go get a therapist. Somebody that was contacted by ISIS and started to get reeled into that sort of thinking, they're not thinking, I need to go get a therapist. That's why ISIS is illegal. Jehovah's Witnesses shouldn't be legal. It, 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 just, it, it just blows my mind when you look at the news and when they're reporting on it, they're saying that they that he's just doing this for no reason. No reason at all. There's always a reason. Because otherwise, if you're not somehow connected to that, like let's say his parents don't talk to him or whatever. That or, like you said, he was either like kicked out or he found out this has been a lie all this time and I've wasted my life. Like, Yeah, at 50 some odd years old, could you imagine? Yeah, but otherwise, no one cares. <laughs> otherwise, unless you're somehow connected to it, you really don't care in the, the world. Like, you're not sitting there saying, Jehovah's Witnesses, let me focus on them and terrorize them. No. Yeah. You have to somehow be attached to it in some way. Yeah, I've, I've known people who... And I'm not saying it's right what he did, but they have to realize when you're treating people a certain way, these are going to be consequences of the way your teaching, your teachings basically hurt people. You don't, they don't think about that. Like, there's yeah. so many people that took their own lives because of the policies that they put into practice under the name of religion. That wouldn't be legal anywhere else. Yeah. That I'm, would be bullying. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, nobody I don't think there's nobody saying what he did was right. No, I'm just what saying, what yeah. people what people are what I'm saying is no one is going to have a group like ISIS and whenever somebody goes off and burns something up, they'll just put that person in jail saying what they did was wrong, but let ISIS just continue. Extreme groups, extreme cults, extreme thought. Sometimes there's extreme action that follows that. And that's why, one of the reasons why groups like ISIS are not legal. I don't think that, you know, they go to meetings, ISIS meetings. I don't know. I haven't been to one. But I don't think they go to ISIS meetings just talk about the joy of blowing things up. I think they have some sort of ideology where in their mind, maybe they think they're under attack. I don't know. Maybe they think the devil lives in America. I mean, whatever it is, the human mind is a powerful thing. And religion is almost like a drug as far as being able to affect a person's mind. I've talked to people, I've talked to several people that could have died because they didn't take a blood transfusion and they were ready to die because of the effect that cult had on their mentality. Now they never risk their life just to avoid a medical procedure but when they were a part of the cult there's one guy that had his arm amputated they couldn't save it with without blood and he refused blood there was another person who they, they didn't get anything amputated but they almost died and they were expected to die and the person chose death like these are extreme things <laughs> So I think that with Watchtower teaching people the end of the world is imminent. You couldn't teach anything too much more extreme 
then God is about to just destroy everything any day now if you don't do what we say. Once a person is used to thinking extreme thoughts, death, destruction, doom, death, destruction, doom. Let's say he's 50 some odd years old. What if what if he was raised in it? That's 50 years of of doom and destruction and death and fire and and uh, shunning for him. If that's the case, if that was the case, setting something on fire, he, he may have a crisis of your ability to reason right from wrong could be affected. Just like the Jehovah's Witnesses that choose to die rather than just have, have a uh, medical procedure. Their ability to reason has been affected. They can't reason right from wrong anymore. Letting their kid die because freaking uh, Sam Heard or Stephen Lett said so is wrong. But they can't reason that because they're mentally so off as a result of extreme teachings. There's a possibility, I don't know, but there's a possibility this Mikey guy, his ability to determine right from wrong could have been affected by extreme teachings. So, yeah, nobody would say that certain acts were wrong, but what they would do is look at the root cause. They're going to look at the root cause. Somebody said that an ISIS person was arrested uh, recently. And I don't know that they did anything or blew anything up, but I think that they were arrested. They probably were arrested just by them, the authorities finding out that there was a freaking member of ISIS. They were probably arrested. So just being a part of an extremist group is enough to concern the authorities. The problem is Watchtower is lying about the shunning by taking it off the websites. They're lying about how they treat people. They're lying about some of their extreme teachings. They lie about the... Pedophilia. Yeah, pedophilia. They lie about the... Uh, what else? Their Bible, how they changed it. Changing the body. They lie about everything. They lie about everything. So, I mean, you mean to tell me ISIS would be cool as long as they just lied about everything on their website? No, the government has actually looked into it, apparently. So, no, ISIS can't just come over here and say, hey, we've had new light. You know what I mean? Watchtower should not be able to, Jehovah's Witnesses shouldn't be able to, we just have new light and just start lying about everything. So... Hopefully, you know, hopefully there's some sort of, uh, you know, a counsel or counseling or something like that. Mikey can get uh, even though he's incarcerated, because I couldn't imagine going through the whole waking up process. Your mind is trying to recover from a destructive cult like Jehovah's Witnesses. And you're locked up and you're just realizing all of what you done did. You know what I mean? That, that, that letting that hit you and you're in prison and it, it would be horrible. It would be horrible. So fortunately, nobody was hurt with uh, burning down the Kingdom Halls and whatnot and shooting in the Kingdom Halls and whatnot. I don't know that he did all of them. You know, I don't I don't know. But uh, comment down below. Let me know what you think. But yeah, do you have anything else to add? You will leave the link to the story in the comments or something. I think a lot of them will know about A lot of people well, know about it. Because when is, you have it there, is, they can just click on it. It's old news. But yeah, I can try to find the links to some of the uh, news articles and stuff like that and leave it in the uh, comment section so everybody can access it. But other than that, yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's definitely a journey. 
I think that we have all survived a cult that is no more destructive than ISIS. When people are ready to die because Sam let, no, not Sam let, Sam heard and uh, Stefan let said so. You're going to have to remember the new guys too now. I don't know the new guys. <laughs> I don't, I don't know the new guys. Know their names. But if people are willing to die because Sam Turd told them to, what's the difference between that and an ISIS leader telling somebody to go die and them doing it? There ain't no difference. There's no difference. Both people would do to an extreme degree whatever both, their leaders told them. Both sacrificing themselves for their God. That's that's basically it. Right. Both same instance. Same same concept. And you have to train the mind to be okay with death, even with yourself. And that's what they do when they teach about this end of the world. Yeah. And anyone who's not in Jehovah's organization. But if a person will die. was if a person was in ISIS for forty years, fifty years. Even 10 years, if a person was a part of ISIS for that long, even if they left, they would need all kinds of support and, and counseling and the freaking government would be watching them, you know what I mean, if they didn't lock them up. Maybe. It's the same with Jehovah's Witnesses. This, this, this cult has done so much damage to people and, uh, you know, fortunately, there's more and more people speaking out about it, but... Yeah, yeah, this cult has done so much damage to people, and I don't, I don't think that there's a big difference. It's just one is hiding behind Christianity, and hiding behind being able to just lie to people. But, yeah, but if you think about it, who's the father of the lies according to them themselves? Satan. But yet they lie left and right, so that tells you who they're really worshiping. Period. And that's why they can do so many things that hurt people, unless you bow down to them. And say yes. If they say jump, you say how high. Don't you say no, I'm not jumping. <laughs> That's it. Lily's got it's her raw hide here. Yeah. All right. That Lisa is kept it. her busy. She wasn't chewing on cords. Yeah, she wasn't knocking stuff down. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys comment down below. Uh, X Wall Kill Beth Light, Serenity, and Lily. You can't. Bernie's over there, too. He's Bernie's over there chilling, too. Signing out. Bye. <laughs>